Hello everyone, this is Caroline and today is uh, the 15th of December 2013. I am glad to be with you today. Uh, today we are going to focus on a healing meditation. As you know, healing happens on all levels, uh, spiritual especially, but also physical, mental, emotional. Uh, you do not have to be present here. So if you want to do this session um, for someone else, so this is uh, the time and place to do it. All you have to do is intend for these individuals to receive the healing. Uh, obviously, there is a free will and their free will will allow them to receive it or not. So you're not infringing on everybody, on anybody else's free will. You are simply supporting and providing uh, this energy and it is up to them to receive it or not. So we are also going to uh, do a global healing, global meditation uh, for the planet, for uh, the collective consciousness. As we all know, we certainly uh, need uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, that uh, that energy to come to the planet. Real quick, as a very brief introduction here, before we begin with the actual meditation, for me, what seems to be um, happening is uh, it's like a big energy that is thick and very stagnant. It feels very um, kind of like a thick cloud that's not going anywhere. And um, this has to do with uh, well, a lot of things, but let's focus on how we, uh, as part of the collective consciousness, um, will um, are affecting or possibly creating this very thick cloud of stagnation, procrastination, confusion about uh, where we are with this whole um, new paradigm of manifestation or what have you, uh, what is really happening, what is our role, what is the divine plan about and how is it moving um, moving forward, uh, moving us forward. And so to me, this is exactly where we are going wrong in our reasoning uh, because we, I feel that uh, there is still a lot of uh, waiting for something to happen uh, before I create. And this is it. This is really, uh, it's kind of like an addiction. We are addicted to the old way of thinking, the old paradigm of thinking, which is focusing on outside of ourselves. Uh, we are wanting uh, for something to happen and hopefully maybe um, on a conscious or unconscious level, uh, possibly something, uh, you know, very uh, Hollywood style, big dramatic uh, asteroid, something happening or some big earthquake or some big uh, financial crisis that will tell us that would be an evidence that, hey, we are functioning in a new paradigm, we are uh, in a different era, and therefore um, I'm on the right track, therefore I can begin to do this and that. And so to me, this is exactly where we are stuck, because um, if, whether it's conscious or unconscious, uh, you know, we cannot wait for that thing uh, outside of ourselves to dictate uh, how we should be creating. And so to me, I feel that this is very much ingrained in our consciousness. And uh, it's uh, like, I call it like an addiction, but it's really like a programming. It's the old paradigm programming because the more you are focused on outside of yourself, the less powerful you are. Because what you're saying is that this other thing that is going to happen is going to empower you to create, which is crazy, obviously, because as you know, you create from within. And so regardless of what's happening outside. And so, um, I think this this programming, uh, of course, is very much ingrained in our physical cells, in our brain cells, in our um, body cells everywhere. And uh, and what's happening is that even if we have this intellectual understanding that yes, uh, we can create and we are here to create regardless of what is happening around us, but because everyone around us is not functioning. At that level, we find ourselves kind of stuck. And so 
this is kind of uh, the level that I'd like to work on. You know, this is part of uh, keeping humanity in this box, keeping humanity and the human race and the human gene and the human DNA in this inability to bypass the collective consciousness, the collective programming um, of finding truth from within and creating a new higher vibration, uh, no matter what, no matter what is happening uh, around us. And so uh, it's, it's really the other way around. The faster that we begin to do that, meaning to uh, create from this very empowered, uh, connected place, the faster we will see the reality around us change. And in fact, this is what is going to trigger uh, these big events, believe it or not. So the earth, of course, is is doing her thing. Uh, she is also um, kind of, uh, you know, uh, cleansing and uh, creating her own new paradigm. But it's kind of like you being in the neighborhood, in your neighborhood, and everybody else is living in the old paradigm, and you're trying to kind of pierce through and create it from the new paradigm. But the earth is doing the same thing. So if she's trying to uh, be in this new paradigm creation, vibrating at a higher level, but all of the inhabitants, which is her neighborhood, if you will, <laughs> is if everyone is still functioning with this old paradigm, uh, you know, uh, material and, and programming, it's even harder for her to move forward. So you have to really understand uh, this dynamic, not just intellectually, but really on an energetic and on a deep cellular level. And th this is what, what I, I think the level that I'd like to to work on today, uh, the, the really uh, your ability to finally once and for all reject this old programming that keeps you stuck whether you are aware of it or not and like I said uh, this will work for uh, the collective consciousness so it will be uh, on all levels and it's amazing because we've done so many sessions so many talks about uh, you know uh, creating from within the new paradigm meaning functioning at this higher vibration, remaining connected to the consciousness of source. And for those who are new, just a quick side note, when I say connected to source, um, because some people get confused with that, with that, uh, with the wording, if anything, um, you know, when you connect to source, you're not going outside yourself. You're, in fact, uh, you are really retrieving uh, the consciousness of source from your own uh, universal self. So, because for me, uh, you have a human aspect, but you also have a universal aspect. It is your universal aspect uh, that is pretty much the consciousness of source. And so what you're doing when you're connecting to source, you are simply uh, aligning your human aspect to your universal aspect that is source basically and bringing the two together. This is, this is what this means. And so we have to be able to, um, to, to, to function. We, we have to get our human aspect, uh, um, uh, functioning with the consciousness uh, of uh, that the at the universal level uh, of source, and so uh, that is what is going to uh, become the new paradigm of being, of creating, of existing. And uh, if you become, uh, if you start to function at that level, and everyone else around you does, then this is when you will begin to see those outer realities. Uh, the evidence that you're looking for. But honestly, the first thing that you can do even on a conscious uh, intellectual level, if you will, is just let go of the uh, the need to look for evidence outside yourself because it's not going to happen. In fact, the more you do that, the more you push it away, the more there will not be evidence because what you're saying is that I need this evidence to be who I really am. And obviously this doesn't work. So uh, the faster you let go of this need, uh, the, uh, the faster that you will become uh, much more empowered. And so, um, 
So, so that is what we are going to work on. And that's why, of course, it is normal that from time to time, uh, you will want to know the general energies and how the trends of how things are developing, which is one thing, which is one day, one time, but then you put that to the side and you focus on your inner consciousness and raise that to the new level of being and uh, begin to create no matter what. All right, so let's begin uh, with this uh, deep, powerful meditation. Uh, set your own intent to receive exactly what you are needing to receive today on any level you wish uh, for yourself, for others, and for humanity. So here we go. Sit up straight with your feet flat on the floor and close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the mouth, quiet your mind. And again, deep breath in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Quiet your mind, quiet your thoughts. Again, deep breath in through the nose, deep breath. As you exhale through the mouth, let go of the tension in your head, in your shoulders, your arms, relax and quiet your mind. And again, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, quiet your mind. Quiet your thoughts. Intend to achieve perfect stillness. Allow your thoughts to dissipate. And again, deep breath in through the nose, deep, deep breath. Exhale through the mouth and again, quiet your thoughts, quiet your mind and relax. Again, deep breath in through the nose, deep, deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Again, quiet your mind, quiet your thoughts. Bring your focus to your heart. We ask and intend to create a sacred space. We ask to let go of all confusing thoughts and energies, to ban them from our physical space at this time. Our intent is to raise our vibration. Be perfectly connected and aligned 
with source and our own universal self. Our intent today is to experience deep, deep cellular healing. To be able to function at a new level, create with higher vibration the new paradigm reality. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, expand 360 degrees. And imagine that you are sitting in a sphere of light about 10 to 12 feet in diameter. This sphere of light is your sacred space. Nothing can penetrate this sacred space other than your own higher consciousness, your universal self, and the energy of source, of creator. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Begin to focus on all the little things that are annoying you right now. For example, my job, my relationship, my money, just a small thing without going into detail. As you focus on these subjects, imagine that they are tiny little dots inside your body. Focus on these tiny little dots. In fact, gather all of the information related to these subjects into these dots that are spread out in various areas of your body. As you focus now on these dots that contain all of the information related to these subjects. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, purge all of these dots out of your body. Visualize, intend, just imagine that you are purging all these tiny dots they are now outside your body, in your sacred space. All these dots now come together and form one small ball. Look at this ball of energy. It is as big as a basketball. Imagine, visualize that this ball of energy are all your blocks. The blocks that are preventing you from moving forward on your higher spiritual path. Acknowledge their use and now intend to be free once and for all 
from these blocks by saying, I acknowledge, I understand why I have been creating and holding on to these blocks. But I no longer wish to carry them in my physical cells. I now ask and intend to be free of this energy entirely. And I release them into the unified field. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, imagine this ball of light, this ball of energy going outside your sacred space and dissolving into the unified field. As they dissolve in the unified field, they become pure light. Visualize your body absolutely pure and clean. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, visualize the consciousness of the being we call the universal teacher. It is as if it were contained in a sphere of light. This sphere of light is yellow and white and silver. Simply intend to receive the information you need from the universal teacher consciousness. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, bring this sphere of light, yellow, white, and silver, through your sacred space into the top of your head. Let it dissolve. into every cell in your head, in your brain, in your skull, in your jaw and throat and neck, focusing on the intent that you are becoming a new type of world teacher. Bring this universal consciousness through every cell in your throat, in your shoulders, your arms, collarbone, ribcage. Stomach, belly, thighs, knees. ankles, and feet. Imagine that you are embodying this new consciousness.
focus your intent to become a new type, a new form, a new vibration, a new consciousness, of spiritual teacher, facilitator, provider, bridge, or instrument. Continue to allow this pure light, this consciousness to go deep into your cells. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, continue to focus on this magnificent universal consciousness that is now present in your body. Hold that for a moment. Focusing on the intent to become the new universal consciousness. Hold that for a moment. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, imagine or visualize that you are now getting up. Of course, don't get up. Just imagine that you are standing up. And now you can see, feel, sense your new consciousness. You are emanating a brilliant, powerful new light never seen before on the earth. Imagine that you are about 10 feet high. You are now walking out of your door, carrying this magnificent powerful universal consciousness. Stop for a moment and you notice that all around you is small, old, dirty, confused. It is the old paradigm. Hold your own energy and simply observe the state of things around you. Do nothing for now. Create a sacred space around your new consciousness. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, imagine that you are connecting with even a bigger light, a bigger beam of light, 
that is coming down from source into the earth plane like a massive beam of light and it lands right above you so that you are contained within this beam of light. Around you is still the old paradigm. It is dirty. It is confused. It is chaotic. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, imagine that you are becoming bigger and bigger and longer and taller. You are now about... 27 feet high. You are still emanating this magnificent universal consciousness and light. Notice how you feel. Can you hold your consciousness in the midst of the outer reality? That is small, dirty, confused, chaotic. Can you hold it? Go to your heart. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth. Bring in a soft blue and silver light. And... Focus on your heart. Say, I ask and intend to let go of my belief that no matter who I am, how big I am, how powerful I am, the outer reality can still get in, can still infringe on my power, can still affect me. I cannot uphold my powerful universal consciousness in the midst of earthly reality. I am now letting go of this unconscious belief from every cell in my physical body, my physical brain, my physical skull, my physical eyes, my physical lips, mouth, tongue, teeth, my physical breathing apparatus, my physical bones, my skeleton, Every aspect of my physical being. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, purge that programming from your physical body once and for all. And visual visualize that you are getting even bigger. You are now about 34 feet high. about 10 to 12 meters high. You are magnificent, emanating, brilliant, powerful, universal light. You become more and more merged with that beam of light coming to you from source. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And now go back to your heart and notice how you feel. As you observe outside your beam of light, still confusion, chaos, old paradigm, vibration. Can you hold your own consciousness?
Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Go to your heart. Fill your body with a light pink and silver color. Go to your heart and say, I ask and intend to release once and for all the unconscious programming that I am unable to maintain my universal self-consciousness in the midst of the old paradigm functioning. I cannot retrieve source frequency while others are distracting me, grabbing at me, confusing me. I am now choosing to let go once and for all. This old paradigm programming that I am addicted that I am programmed to behave like others. I am choosing to let go once and for all from every cell in my physical body, this old programming, to free myself once and for all to become fully my true universal self and consciousness here on the earth, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of the old paradigm functioning. From every cell in my bones, my physical skin, my physical ribcage, my physical spinal cord, my physical skull, my physical skeleton, again my physical ribcage. Nice. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and purge that old awareness, old programming once and for all. Visualize yourself that you are getting bigger and bigger. You are about 54 feet high, maybe at 20 meters, something like that. And you are emanating more and more light. You are now a massive sphere of light walking the earth. Go to your heart and now notice how you feel. Can you uphold your consciousness in the midst of the old paradigm functioning? much better. Visualize yourself now as this massive sphere of light. You are so solid, so strong, so powerful. Nothing can penetrate your consciousness that will pull on it, distract it, confuse it. You are finally upholding your universal consciousness right here on the earth, no matter what. Still imagining that you are a magnificent 
huge sphere of light. It is yellow, white, and silver. You are hovering above the earth. And now you can heal others. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, expand even more, 360 degrees. You are becoming bigger and bigger. You are more and more powerful. You can uphold your universal consciousness within the earth platform. As you hover above the earth, look down. As you can see, the confusion, the suffering, the chaos. Maintain your own sphere, your own structure. While simply intending to bring healing and clarity to the earth. Make sure you maintain the sphere structure that you are hovering above the earth and bring a new wave of energy. It is like a blanket of white light and simply place it above the earth, above humanity. It is a massive blanket of healing energy and it wraps around the entire earth. Visualize that this blanket of healing and love are your hands. You are placing your loving hands over the earth. Providing it with warmth, with love, patience, Detaching from the outcome, staying in your own sacred space, breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, continue to imagine that you are wrapping your arms For your hands around those that you wish to heal, simply intend to offer the healing and let go of the rest. Hold that for a moment, focusing on your intent to offer healing. That's it. Provide healing and let go of the rest. Hold that for a moment.
if you feel attracted to go to a particular area on the earth, allow yourself to focus on that area. Visualize the blanket of healing energy going there. Simply focus on your intent to provide the healing and let go of the rest. Say, I ask and intend to bring healing at this time. To this part of the world. To humanity. To those who need it. I am letting go of my personal need to observe change, to see and witness the result of my work. I am here as an instrument of the universal vibration, I am choosing to offer it to others at this time and letting go of all subsequent information and results. Be in this perfect state of unconditional giving. Unconditional loving. Hold that for a moment. Continue to breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, focus on unconditional giving, unconditional loving. No need, no attachment to the outcome or the result. Just be in this alignment. And slowly breathe in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, bring your focus back to your own sphere of light hovering above the earth. Set your intent once more. I ask and intend to be this universal consciousness through all that I think say or do and to bring this universal consciousness into my physical being breathe in through the nose exhale through the mouth bring down this massive sphere of light that is you 
slowly back into your physical space and you find your physical body still sitting in a chair and begin to bring your universal consciousness sphere down into your physical body through the top of your head through your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your ankles, your feet, and imagine that the two bodies are merging perfectly, are aligning perfectly, so that your physical heart is aligning and merging with your universal heart. Your physical frame, skeleton, and skin is merging perfectly with your universal frame. You are two and one. You are both physical, planetary, and universal. You are both human and divine. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Intend to bring your divine universal self through your human physical self. Through all that you think, say, or do. And so it is. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes.